Hello everyone, it's the Marquis. This is my third video, and uh, I play France against Great Britain in Napoleon Total War. So this battle is uh, just mainly me attacking this guy, playing very offensive, aggressive. Uh, my opponent, who uh, actually used all infantry, uh, the rules of the battle were two artillery and um, no other restrictions, he just chose to use all infantry without any artillery or any cavalry. So uh, he, he played very, very defensive as you're about to see and I uh, played more balanced approach to the battle. See my general right there. So here is his army as you can see, he's a typical line formation. Um, Scottish Guard right there, you see his 88th foot and his 42nd foot, those are both elite units. Um, and then his foot guards over here, his most elite units, uh, I believe he's got three or four of those. Um, and then his fencibles back here, which doesn't really make sense that they're in the back of his army, and his general, and he is using uh, Major General Picton. Um, just an interesting fact, Picton, General Picton, was the only, the highest ranking, uh, officer to be killed at Waterloo. So, I thought that was interesting. So you can see my artillery starting to already, uh, lay fire on his troops. So a couple guys. See my cavalry over here. Um, trying to just flank him, make him react to me and I am marching my infantry, my lines on his flank also, not very fast, and uh, putting a lot of my men right here to guard this area and under tree cover so it's hard for my enemy to really uh, see how many men I actually have right there. My revolutionary infantry right here. So the elite units I brought into the battle are the old guard and the young guard. So my most elite units. You can see over here my cavalry and then in the middle my artillery with another artillery piece over here on my left. Um, like I was saying my old guard and young guard are the most elite units I brought in. Uh, the old guard is Probably the best unit in the game, for infantry wise, I'm thinking. Um, very, uh, very elite unit in the Grand Army. See, I'm laying fire already on with my full series of the line. And that unit of Highland Foot just gets completely destroyed. He tries to bring up his other lines, and they also get destroyed. Their morale, you can see, is already going down quite a bit. So he tries to come on my right flank uh, with a couple foot guard units, his most elite units. And I'm standing my ground, dealing a lot of damage to him. Um, so he keeps on trying to approach my cavalry on his far left side, but my units are picking him off. And he realizes that that's not working. He made a mistake any way of not having any cavalry to combat mine. So he has to go back and fight my infantry and you'll see in a second what happens. So here on the right side I am trying to defend. Uh, I, I rush my old guard in to fight his infantry. Maybe not the best decision, but it, it would keep him occupied for a little bit while I could secure the left side. So uh, as he turns to fight my line infantry right here, I rush my cavalry in and um, kill a lot of his men, force them to rout. So that unit routes and the other one is very close to. So I can see I'm playing pretty aggressive now. My full Sierra's, uh just trying to gain better position. So 
one of his big mistakes is he he would love to just rush his units in and uh, get into melee combat, but a lot of times it would take a it take a long time for his units to get to my units. I can pick them off very easily. So you can see right there, my old guard uh, routed his his uh, Highland foot. Pretty intense fighting over there, and I still have my lines very much intact over here, barely taking any casualties. So you can see in the distance over there, uh, his units, three units of uh, his most elite foot guards are still standing in the same position. He hasn't moved them at all. I don't know if you forgot about them, but that was a big mistake because that would have that would have been made the battle a lot harder for me because he could have taken my right side probably with force, but he did not. Made a mistake there. You see, uh, his units are coming into mine, but they're very weak. The morale is very low. I still have the left side is basically it's mine. He still has this unit over here, but that was routing in it. It's just resting. He forgot about it completely. So. So you can see I'm moving two units uh, to engage his generals. And the units back here. I still have my cavalry on the side, which I'm about to uh, rush in. You can see in the distance I am. See, this unit turns around to engage my cavalry, which is attacking his flank. In turn, I rush my other cavalry, my lancer, into him and uh, just destroy that unit. So, his center and his left are completely uh, decimated and uh, retreating. He's still got his foot guards over here fighting my old guard. And my old guard did very good. Um, I'm actually very surprised that they survived this long in the battle. Could have, should have used them better, but I, I just, I didn't. See, he's rushing, and I rush my uh, dragoons and my lancers right into him. His general rushes into that battle, which is really stupid. So I, I route this unit and then rush my uh, my lancers, and dragoons actually into the battle. Try to destroy his uh, his general, which I just did. You can see he's finally starting to march his units over his foot guards and his fencibles. And uh, I see that my old guard unit is about to be outnumbered, so I rush my general in just to route his foot guards. Just to uh, make sure it's not actually a threat. So you can see I have skirmishers in the front, I set up my lines and just wait for him to come. Like I said before, he likes to he likes to rush in instead of I mean even taking one volley uh, and then rushing, he, he just rushes right in. I don't know if he was just giving up at this point, but not very smart. You can see I can just pick him off and uh, very weak once he gets to me. So my skirmishers absorb that, rush into my line, but my line, my line will really have no trouble dealing with that. I still have uh, these full sears up here. A cool cannonball shot right there. Very nice explosion. And 
this is some intense fighting right here. Very cool looking. Let's see uh, my cavalry is charging in. My guy just got destroyed. And most of his units are starting to route. About to have a full route. See yeah, a little bit of friendly fire in the back right there. And I bring my cavalry in the back right here and uh, start to destroy his men and I have a victory. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, let me know what you think.